What's going on everybody? This is Brian from SneakerFiles.com recapping the news and we got a lot of interesting stuff to talk about in this video. But before I jump into the rundown, if you got a second, like always, appreciate a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed yet, make sure to hit the red button just below. Also, let's see if we can get 600 likes on this video. On the previous news video, you guys killed it with likes and I greatly appreciate that. Now, as for the highlights in this video, we have a look at a new Air Jordan 3 releasing, as well as a first look at the Air Jordan 10 in cool gray. A little bit of Nike, we have a first look at the Nike SF Air Force One Mid Chinese New Year, as well as a better look at the Nike Air Max 97 USA Camo. Other than that, we have collaborations from Adidas, as well as Reebok, and more from Jordan Brand. But without wasting too much of your time, let's jump into the news. Reebok has unveiled the latest collaboration with Cameron, and that will be on the Reebok DMX Run 10. The shoes are known as Harlem Knights and they feature a predominant black takeover. Using a premium build, they feature pony hair and that's a tribute to Cam's fur coats. Following, we have Glow in the Dark Accents and that is for his first album, Confessions of Fire. The last detail is a scale texture which is a nod to his favorite fish dish, tilapia. Kind of odd, but overall, I think the look is pretty dope. And they drop on November 27th at select Reebok retailers, and that is Cyber Monday, and the retail price is 200 Adidas Originals and ASAP Ferg officially unveiled the Adidas Pure Boost DPR Triple Black. Like the nickname suggests, this pair features black throughout, which is also used on the Boost midsole and outsole. Dropping on December 1st, retail price will be 150 We now have release information on the Invincible Neighborhood Adidas NMD R1 collaboration. Inspired by their Adidas Superstar collaboration from 2004, they're constructed with a mixture of mesh and suede. Following we have Invincible and Neighborhood's branding on the EVA pod overlays, a tiger embroidered on the heel, along with camouflage tiger stripes on the panels. They will first release on Black Friday, November 24th, exclusively at Invincible, in-store and online. A global release date will take place on December 29th. Retail price will be 200 It looks like Bape and Adidas are collaborating once again, and this time it'll be on the Dame 4, which is a bit odd, although I do think it's dope. Usually it's on their lifestyle line and not basketball models. But two pairs are set to release. One comes in green camo, the other one is done in black. Both features Bape shark face logo throughout, along with shark teeth on the midsole while the eyes land on the toe box. We also have dual branding on the insoles, along with Bape's traditional camouflage overlay. Currently, there isn't a set release date for the two. They are expected to drop sometime in 2018. Now, these are inline images. Basically, they're a catalog scan. So it's possible that Adidas does scrap the release, or it could even look a little bit different. But once we have more information, definitely we'll make sure to update you. I'm not gonna spend too much time here, but official images of the Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2 semi-frozen yellow has leaked. Now, they are expected to drop on November 18th. However, at the time of shooting, Adidas has yet to announce anything, so it's possible a release date could change, but a lot of people are assuming that they're going to drop on November 18th, which would be this weekend. Retail price will be 220, and apparently this will be the most limited Yeezy release to date. So it is possible that they just drop them without any announcement, but I doubt that. The Nike Air Hirachi for Chicago leaked the other day, and to be 100% honest, I'm not entirely sure why they're covered in orange blades I'm not sure how orange is connected to Chicago unless you're talking about the Bears but I highly doubt they made this shoe for them but if you're a fan of the team this might be a release for you and it does feature midnight navy accents which lands on the neoprene tongues in addition we have a zipper closure while shy lands on the back heel and lace tips each pair comes with a custom pin that reads have you hugged your foot today? Now, they are scheduled to release at select Nike sportswear retailers in Europe on November 18th. It isn't known if a stateside release will happen at that time or at a later date, nor is a retail price available as of now. Nike and Jordan brand will be celebrating Chinese New Year in 2018, which has been a tradition over the past several years. And we've seen two other Nike Air Force Ones. Now we have a look at the Nike SF Air Force One Mid CNY. Constructed with a mixture of leather and mesh, we have pretty much white throughout, 
but on the hardware, we have metallic gold. Displayed on the lower part of the midsole and the outsole, we have fireworks graphics, and the outsole is translucent. If you haven't noticed, all of the Nike and Jordan brand releases we've seen so far, part of the Chinese New Year pack in 2018, they feature fireworks. No set release date for this pair or a retail price, but they're expected to drop during January of 2018. One quick stop at the Nike Air Max 97 known as USA Camo, which was originally part of the Nike Air Max Country Camo pack that dropped back in 2013. We now have better images prior to that the images were pretty blurry so this gives us a little bit of a better look not the best but something better to look at now i don't have any additional information to provide you guys as far as a release or a retail price possibly the retail price will be 160 but they are expected to drop sometime during december more than likely this will be the last time i talk about the air jordan 13 wheat unless i get them in hand to do a review now, I told you guys in the previous video that the release date has changed to November 21st, but I wanted to give you a heads up that Jordan Brand is releasing the shoe in full family sizing. For men's sizing, retail price will be $190, grade school will cost you $140, preschool will be priced at $80, while the toddler will cost you $60. Following the original release in February, a new colorway of the Air Jordan 1 Golf Premium hits the links this fall. As it's worn, the shoe's antique leather upper, which comes with a one-year waterproof warranty, transforms to develop a beautiful patina. This limited offering features a few notable changes from the original basketball shoe, including extra padding to provide additional comfort and support around the ankle, Jumpman logo on the tongue, Nike free inspired outsole with soft spikes and a fully waterproof upper. The Air Jordan 1 Golf Premium in black will debut on December 15th and the retail price will be $200. Jordan Brand officially unveiled the Air Jordan 11 Premium Ares Black Stingray. During their unveiling and probably what's most important, they confirmed the release date is November 24th, which is Black Friday. They also released them early on Nike sneakers. Now I missed out on my size, I did see they had had a 10 and a half Y, but they didn't have a size 10 in either. Actually, all of the larger sizes were pretty much gone. They went really fast. I'm not sure if they still have any of the smaller sizes available, but if you would like to check, head on over to Nike sneakers or open the app. Oh, and the retail price is 220. Although I don't have any new information on the Air Jordan 6 Chinese New Year, we do have better images. Finally, this has to be our best look. I know I said that a few times prior to that because the images started slowly getting a little bit better here and there, but definitely our best look here. So with that being said, more than likely I won't share any more new images of the shoe until we have additional information. One thing I wanted to point out, it looks like for the base itself that is done in New Buck, but the overlay, it's that same texture, I'm not sure exactly what it is, of the Air Jordan 5 Low Chinese New Year that released a few years back. They're expected to drop during January of 2018 and the retail price will be 250 It looks like Jordan Brand is going to release a new Air Jordan 3 since we have images of this new leaked colorway. And first up, I'm gonna say off the rip, I am not a fan of these. However, I will give them the benefit of the doubt because these images are not good at all. But just to go over the shoes, on the uppers we have black. It appears that new buck is used. Now I'm not 100% positive on this, but it looks like patent leather is used on the overlay. Following we have white which lands on the elephant print that wraps the toe and the heel and then we have white on the midsole completing this look is a gum outsole now i usually don't like to put my opinion out there too much but this to me is something not good at all i don't like it i'm sorry but as for the release information we don't have any at this time now i heard that it's possible this could be the SE model that drops in 2018. The black could easily be anthracite and the white could be summit white and there's actually a pair expected to drop during March that comes in anthracite, summit white, and anthracite. Now if this is the SE model, the retail price has dropped $10 and it'll cost $180. Now there's no confirmation if this is the SE model or if this pair will actually release. It could just be a sample, but once more information is known, definitely we'll make sure to let you know. For a few months now, thanks to Soul Heat on Feet, I've known that the Air Jordan 9 boot NRG would release. I did see the color description, which comes in black, true red, and light olive, 
and I pretty much thought from there that they would be the all of release, but obviously with a twist because it's labeled boot in NRG. Thanks to Frank Cooker, we have our first look at the shoe, and as you can see, it pretty much looks like the Air Jordan 9 Olive, but there is some advancements on the shoe for winter. It appears that a thicker use of leather lands on the upper. We also have suede on the overlay that wraps the heel, and that's done in olive. Black up top, as you can see. They also have added metal eyelets and a rugged outsole. No set release date, they are expected to drop this month sometime, it's possible we see them release in December, and the retail price will be 190 Now this goes back to the whole NRG thing that people are labeling will feature patent leather, that once again is not the case, but I do believe that the NRG release could mean two things. One, there is some slight changes to the shoe, and more than likely what it actually means is energy, which means probably on the limited side. So we got our first look at the Air Jordan 10 Cool Gray, and I don't mean to complain a lot in this video, but I did mention this prior to this video that people that leak shoes like images, I feel like they should either upgrade their camera or at least take more images. Now the quality on this image isn't so bad, but you just take one shot of the outsole, like you have the shoes right there, take some more. But with that being said, let's move on to the shoes and they feature, as you can see, cool gray throughout. Now we can only really see the outsole the best. As you can see, there isn't really a side view of the shoe and that features a multicolor theme while using shades of red, white, blue, yellow, black, and purple. Now, in my opinion, there's going to be some sort of theme to the shoe. From this preview, you can see the uppers, they're somewhat on the plain side. That's not a bad thing, it's just all gray. But the outsole, as you can see, it basically looks like a box of crayons. No set release date for this pair. They're said to drop during January of 2018 and the retail price will be 190. And that recaps the news. Like always, we post it first on sneakerfiles.com and then we take it to YouTube. So what I'm feeling from this video, there's not a ton. I've already said the Air Jordan 6 Chinese New Year, so I'll skip that. I also like the Cameron Reebok DMX Run 10. Not the best images, but what I see, I do like, and I do like that model overall. The Nike Air Max 97 USA Camo is another pair I do like. The Air Jordan 11 Black Stingray, that's another pair I do like. Now, the Air Jordan 10 Cool Gray, I'm not really a fan of the outsole. I feel like there's a lot going on. And what I can tell is the uppers, they're not bad. For that pair, to give my judgment, definitely want to wait on additional images and to see what kind of theme is tied into it because for me, I feel like if it goes back in sneaker history or ties into something to Michael Jordan, then it actually makes the shoe a little bit better. Last but not least, I do like the Air Jordan 9 boot olive. I'm a fan of the original colorway in the original pair and I feel like they made just enough advancements on that shoe while still retaining the OG look. But that does it for me. Leave a comment below and let me know from this video what you like or what you dislike. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to sneakerfiles.com. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe.